Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Jerry and I just want to do an update on my MPCNC from uh, V1Engineering.com. As you know, a while back I put together this machine. I was, I, in my last video I said I was getting ready to work on the wiring. I have most of that done. I decided to build an enclosure because when I run this thing at night or even in the daytime with the garage closed, it's going to be crazy loud in the neighborhood. I've got a Makita router on it, which is very loud. So anyway, I built this enclosure out of two by threes. I went down to Lowe's, got some two by threes. My uh, MDF is half inch all the way around. And I put chains on the side and there's hinges on the back. If you can see the chain in the picture, possibly down there on the side. If I ever need to, I can completely lift this whole thing up out of the way and then I can work on the machine or take it apart, whatever I need to do. It's got a big counterweight underneath here that came off an elevator, off of an elevator uh, back in the day when I worked construction to hold it because the top is heavier than the base and I don't want the whole thing to tumble over. And then earlier today I was working on the wiring and I just took my drill and I went around and took out, out different side panels so that I could work on it, which that's probably what I'll do in the future, just take off a panel as I need to work on the machine. But here's where I'm at on it. I changed my end stops from my last video. I moved them off uh, the bracket here and I put them over here. I printed out some clamps and I put them right on the rails, the tubing. The motors that I originally had that I told you one was damaged, I sent them back, reordered them. The smaller ones came out well. I sent those back to Amazon and got the bigger ones again. So I got the bigger stepper motors put back on it. I've got everything ran, wired, going through the tube. I put a cable chain in the back and on the side for all the wires. So that when I've got movement here, it, it rolls good on the cable chain, whichever direction. It moves real good. And let's see, and I got a three foot LED that I got off Amazon. I put in here in the top. I've got a little switch right here so I can turn it on and off. I've got a Wise Cam that I paid 25 bucks for at Home Depot. It's a home security camera that works great. You can go to the Wise website and you can download a bin file, a firmware file, and you can make that a webcam. Now when you make it a webcam, it will not have sound, but I don't need to have sound for this. And if, you know, you can do that for your computer also. Uh, I know a couple people online that are using these Wise cams they're streaming with as webcams and then they have a separate microphone. They work great. It has a little magnetic base, it swivels around. But like I say, they're great for security and they're great for little webcams. And let's see, I got my remove my emergency stop button. I've got my LCD control panel here back in the front. I've got my uh, power strip here which I can control through software in case I have to uh, shut it down but I want to run the sound test here and give you an idea with my enclosure the way it is how just how loud it is let's see let me pull up the program okay right now I've got zero decibels let me start up this Makita it'll be pretty loud on my microphone Seventy one, seventy two decibels. This is pretty, pretty noisy. Now, once you're cutting wood, it's going to even be louder than that, obviously. That's just the motor by itself. Then, when I close the door, it cuts it down to sixty to sixty one. There to fifty eight. So it cuts it down quite a bit. I may end up getting some sound panels or carpet or something and putting in there on the MDF to even quiet it down more. It may or may not help. I'm not really sure. I'm still going to get sound coming through the plexiglass. Um, one of my printers in the house, one of my CR10s, uh, it, I print ABS with it quite a bit, or at least I used to, and I had quarter inch plexiglass all the way around it. Uh, since it sits up against a wall, I didn't need the plexiglass in the back. Plexiglass, as you know, is pretty damn expensive, especially the thicker stuff. So I took a piece of MDF and I blocked it off on my other CR10 and then I put this panel in, which worked out real good. And I'm not sure if it'll clear the light, but... Drop my microphone. Yeah, see, that'll lift up completely out of the way. Now, of course, I need to put a chain or a clip on that because if you ever bumped it and you walk by, that's going to swing down and knock me out or break something. 
But anyway, just for shits and giggles, for now I can show you how I got it mounted. I just put some blocks in and I cut it out with my skill saw and uh, glued it in. But that's kind of where we're at at the moment. Like I say, it's, it's coming along. I have to take sit out here and put something on the TV or play some music and start wiring up my control panel, get all that going, and then download some software. I'll take one of my uh, Raspberry Pis I have it on one of my other printers that I'm not using, and I'll bring that out here, and I'll have OctaPrint to control everything. But it's coming along pretty good. I just like I said, I just want to do a quick video, share with you guys, and show you what I've been up to. So I'm just tinkering on this and working on some other projects in the house here and there. So I guess my next video on this is going to be running. And my spoil board, I've got, I'm probably, I'm thinking about using MDF. I'm not sure. It's pretty light. And you know, like it's almost like cardboard type material. I'm not sure if I'm going to use like half inch plywood and cut grooves in it because I bought a bit for that so I can anchor my bolts and anchor everything down. But I may just use MDF. I'm not sure. MDF or plywood. I have both. I just got to figure out what I want to use for a spoil board. But like I say, I've got real good movement here. My cable's mounted up out of the way here, so it's not going to drag or get into my print or anything. So, And I'm not sure. I'll have to wait and see how it goes. But if I get worried about there ever being a, possibly being a fire, I might buy a fireball and put it in here and get off of Amazon. You know those round red balls? They have an alarm built into them. A flame hits them. They sound the alarm. They go boom. They blow up. And they put everything out. It's like having a fire extinguisher in here. I may or may not put one in here. I'll have to wait and see if I need it. But definitely, when I'm printing with this, I'll never leave it unmaintained. I'm going to be watching it on my phone. If I need to run and use the restroom, I'm going to be watching it on my phone. Because you can't leave this unmaintained and go, go to sleep or anything. It's like a campfire. At any time, something could go wrong. You could catch wood on fire and then burn everything down. So you definitely got to keep on top of it. But I thanks for stopping by. And like I say, I'll try to get a video out here in the near future with this thing running. And uh, please like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. I really appreciate it. Take care, guys. Thank you.